We are back. I'm hanging with Anderson Johnson Reyes, uh, singer Cam, and Anna Klumski. The next story is one I'm super passionate about. In fact, I'm the one who found it and kind of booked it on the show. It's great because it celebrates heroes in, in so many different ways. You know, there are people who just go through life and do the right thing. This gentleman here uh, was an Olympian. He's now a Los Angeles police officer fighting for the front lines in the city's most severe uh, crimes. Last uh, year, his wife opened a school here that gives one-on-one -on -one attention to special needs kids. And they're both uh, infinitely inspired by the 20-year-old daughter, Bella. This is Bella right here. Hi, Bella. <laughs> now, Bella's been living with cerebral palsy, and she hosts a YouTube channel where she shares her experience in hope and helping other kids with disabilities yes. and, and other challenges. I think that's just fantastic. You like being Th a YouTube thank star? Thank you, yes, yes. I do. Yeah, it's, great. it's awesome. <laughs> They're what we call rad humans. Thank you. Elisa and Bella, awesome, awesome to meet all of you. Thank you. Uh, so so tell, tell us about uh, your life and the YouTube channel. It must be very hard being a police officer. And it is. It is. It's, it's got its moments. Yeah. Um, but, it's, you know, it's rewarding also. Yeah. You know, in, in division that I work in, we get to work out uh, to work throughout the city. So it's not just one community. We get to serve multiple communities throughout the city. And you're Olympian. What sport? Yeah, uh, track cycling. Track cycling. Yeah, okay. represent it. Thank you. Okay. Now, Lisa, you're, uh, you're, you're home with Bella most of the time, right? Yeah. You, you got, tell me, you started a school because, what, you were getting bullied at school? <laughs> no, no. I had a really hard time in public school. Right. And th these kids... We were, ba we were bathing on the desk. We were watching. We were watching movies all day. Right. And it was just was they shoved like too many kids like that had behaviors right. in the classroom with me. So it wasn't a very good environment for me. Right. So yeah, we that that's how the school came to be about. So. Okay, and what's the name of the school, Lisa? Agape Village. Agape Village. Yes. What does that come from? Um, it comes from God's love. Oh, okay. So um, God's love for us is infinite and no, um, no limitations, and that's kind of how we think of our children. Yeah. No, that's wonderful. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's an amazing, uh, you know, I'm just in awe of this woman. Yeah. Incredible. I yeah. just, I really am. I, I just... How long have you been married? 26 years. 26 years. 26 years. years okay. And, I, I, you know, when she first came up with this idea to build a school for kids with special needs and conditions for a higher purpose of learning um, academically, spiritually, and um, physically, I, I honestly thought she was nuts. I, you know, I was going, <laughs> I, I, I've never built a school? A school? Right. And, I mean, she was just relentless. And... Now we are 13 students, three teachers, and just chugging along. I mean, it's just, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. So the kids are really learning, I suppose, to just sit and watch movies all day. Yes. Absolutely. See, I would have been thrilled just to sit and watch movies all day. In school. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but, but, yeah. you, but, you want, but you want to learn. Yeah. So, Lisa, what's your day-to-day -day like, life like with Bella? You know, um, with Bella, there's a lot of daily living skills that she can't do herself. Right. So um, we... We do a lot of, you know, in the morning, we start out taking her to the bathroom, we do her hair, we brush her teeth, all the daily living skills that people can typically do for themselves. My husband and I do with her, and he's a really great dad and super supportive, and he'll work a 12-hour shift and hear me giving her a shower in the morning and hop up and come help me. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, it's almost like we have a theme. You've got... Uh... The American Anthem deal going, which is kind of, kind of, this is kind of fits in there a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a show on PBS that we're doing, and it's the same thing, just meeting heroes, and it's so refreshing, I think, like in, you know, the news, you're hearing a lot of bad stuff going on, and then you're just reminded that there's so many good people doing great things, and like, Bella, it's just so sweet to meet well, that's you, I mean, you know, it makes me so happy. I, it drives me crazy when I turn on afternoon talk shows. Here's another terrible father. And they go, well, where are the, where are the, can we get, can we get a good yeah, dad yeah, on the show for yeah, two? Yeah. And you were certainly the epitome of that. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. I'm trying to take as much off her plate as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. Now, tell me about, you, you, you had a, a van? 
We did. So, uh, you know what? The van is intact. Thank right. goodness. Um, you know, there's no parts on the street coming here. Right. Um, it, it's an older van. Um, uh, it's for Belle, and, and she has an electric wheelchair. Yeah. And so this chair, we get well, around see, with her. I, I, I put on a line of car care products. You got those? Give me those car care products. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyway, this is all Jay Leno polishes and waxes. Oh, but, but wait, no, wait, no, hang on, hang on. But then I, I, I took a look at your van and I went, what a piece of crap that van is. <laughs> you know, my products are way too good <laughs> to be put on some piece of junk like that. It's true. So what I got for you, and I think you'll like this, we got your brand new Pacifica 22 van. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Now, see, there it is. The cool thing is, I think the Chrysler Pacific is the best van out there. Thank you. And there's a company named uh, Braun Ability. And what they do is they convert. Yeah. It's an interesting story. A guy named Ralph Braun, just like you, he had a handicap. But he didn't let him stop him. So he decided to fix up his own van so he could drive around in his wheelchair. People were so impressed by it, he built them for other people and started a company called... Uh, Braun ability. And that's what this is. We sent this Incredible. Chrysler Pacifica to that company in Indiana. They redid the whole thing to make it uh, a wheelchair access and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, it's even got the Thank LAPD you. blue. Thank See the blue stripe? Yeah. <laughs> we put the blue that's stripe in there for you, too. So. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. What an amazing. Okay. Oh. Thank now, you so much. This conversion is the largest interior in this class, got removable front seats. Uh, strongest capacity, extra wide door open. He's got everything you need Thank you to so get around. Much. So this means a lot to me. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Like I say, you see people like this, and every day there are people that just go through life and do the right thing. Thank you. And so as much. a police officer, you do, and as a mom, you do, and you're starting a school, and it, it's just fun. It's it's as much fun to give as to watch you guys receive it. So I hope you enjoy Thank it. You. Thank God you bless so all of you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, yeah. I'm like speechless. <laughs> Me is, too. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Look at this, Belle. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Incredible. Oh, my Absolutely gosh. Beautiful. I, I'm speechless. Oh.